Hello YouTube, um, I have a question for some of you engineers and yeah, guys that think about alternate fuel and energy, so um, what my thought was first um, to um, get water boiling and have a lot of pizza crystals um, in it, so um, just short before water starts to boil it acts funny and produce something um, uh, which is called convection bubbles and those convection bubbles um, explode or expand um, at almost Mach 4 or Mach 5 um, as far as I know so uh, maybe somebody can verify that and um, yeah the next Thing. sure you all know piezo crystals piezo crystals um, um, is a crystal which uh, is producing electricity when it gets deformed or uh, yeah um, squeezed and so I was asking myself what would happen if I am a boil water and put a lot of piezo crystals in it or if I um, keep the temperature uh, short below the boiling point so that the convection bubbles can um, uh, steady um, produced uh, by the water and then the next point was how can I get the thing uh, boiling and then my first thought was a little complicated but I will um, tell you what my thought was so uh, I'm a big fan of magnets and so I was thinking and actually of uh, gas springs um, I will show in a video what I have done with some of gas springs um, um, I was following point a pressure creates heat and I was thinking to place magnets um, in a um, round um, shape uh, like a like a ball um, and yeah put the opposite poles and make a, make a big uh, ball and a smaller in it so that the, they can um, um, the magnets can um, apply pressure and then I was starting yeah maybe maybe you can do it with gas springs to to uh, to get the water boiling and that's what I'm to have a to have a, a non um, electric or um, fossil fuel way to get the water burning um, maybe Sun would be nice also but um, then I start thinking and yeah, the gas springs also would just create pressure to get the water boiling and the piezo crystals to emit electricity. And then, I'm a little tricky, by the way. Yeah, my right hand isn't working too good. <laughs> ATM, so. Um, yeah, and that brought me to uh, a vacuum. And a vacuum is also a very interesting mm, force um, let's say and um, the closer you get to the to vacuum the uh, less mm, energy or the lower the water's boiling point, uh, point gets so if you would have almost vacuum because you never can create a full vacuum as far as I know you um, and put some water in it uh, it would boil yeah but it just not needed to get a full vacuum because that's not working anyway so just uh, create some uh, a pressure level that is close uh, to a vacuum which is not uh, too energetic uh, or um, um, uh, which has not too much energetic cost for you to, to do because you will need to uh, vacuum pump running or, or whatever and that is not what we like so um, 
we would just suck some of the air out to create a, a low pressure level um, and um, get the water boiling much earlier so you could maybe get uh, it in a um, way that um, a black uh, container which will hold uh, the whole thing would be um, enough in the sunlight that the heat from the sunlight gets the water boiling about the low pressure um, cabin uh, the water is inside and um, yeah and the crystals in it get hit by the convection bubbles so what do you think about it would it work um, is it a good idea is it a bad idea I have lots more and uh, would love to hear some comments and yeah I just uh, for for that to maybe get it or <laughs> just to put it to a lot of other ideas they won't work okay so that's it see you soon